Elon Musk is making this move to try to take Twitter, right? right. Is is be to preserve because he truly feels that it's not for. He even said it. This is probably why the board denied him because he said, "I don't care about." the economics of this of this business but actually hold on this is a crucial part of american democracy is the ability to have discourse and free speech and there needs to be algorithmic changes yeah but then within this company but then he do something with the bid it was how much he what bid. what he bid no. was almost double of what Goldman yeah. Sachs evaluated the company to be. But they had to. But Goldman Sachs they, evaluated at like thirty dollars yeah, a share, and he 50, offered fifty four. But then they say share. they have to go. They, they they have to evaluate it, or they have to review. No, it. no, they did a poison pill. Did they yeah. do that poison pill thing? Yeah. Where they they liquidate the shares, right? Yeah. So basically, basically what they, they would, yeah, they were gonna they, they were gonna the company just so he can't buy it. They, yeah, they were gonna open up a thousand more shares oh, uh, okay. for share owners, and I think like Vanguard. Stepped in and like owns like fourteen percent now, which I is mean, like the most I, I, that you know you can own. But uh, either way, like my whole point of tying this all in together was, like, Elon Musk's um, reasoning for doing this is is to expose is true though. No, it's, it's, it's also it's, to expose it's certain little bullshit. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah, I mean, what surface, I'm saying is, it, it's coming yeah. from a good a good moral place of sure, whatever. But <laughs> what, no from his surface. words, yes. And he even said, he goes, you know, $41 billion, like, he just did a TED Talk, right? I can't believe TED Talk's still around, but he just did a TED Talk, like, I think on, like, Friday or something, and that was, like, the first question that they asked, like, what's up with this Twitter thing? You know, and that's exactly what he said, was, this is is to preserve free speech, to allow a platform for people, and and not allow human um, algorithm changes to censor one. I also side. think. I also I think. His own shit. He I also money. think. Well, the, I thought the funny thing was he, he also did. It was something like what did they say? It was like forty-one billion or something to buy the company. He's like, yeah, I think I can afford it. You know, it was yeah. like a, you know, because yeah. he also did. He also kind of exposed something with the Twitter board too. They don't want, and the whole theory now is the conspiracy thing is that, you know, Twitter doesn't want that free speech. They don't want that. They don't want the okay, whole thing. No, they want to be able to control the narrative. No social media because wants free because they didn't because their fiduciary duty is profit. for the shareholders. Yes, it's profit. Now a, a business they, for shareholders. Right, and that's where Jack Dorsey, the guy who fucking was the CEO. Yeah. He's like, this is the problem with my, the company, right here. But, Twitter was always for sale. It never wasn't for sale. Bro. Just Every, to touch Jack on Dorsey it real quick, that. I was talking to Chad on the way here, and Chad actually brought this up um, as I was about to hang up and walk in here. And uh, I was like, wait, 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 what did you just say? Like, can you send me this article? I want to read this now. So basically what Chad had said, I didn't get to read the article because I was walking in here, but um, he, was, he said that now the federal government is stepping in. Uh, and apparently the Biden administration uh, is, is, is going to implement... Nap something, time? some sort of of policy to not allow that transaction to happen, which <laughs> that would be. I think that's what. what he, you know what? You know what's fucking. So I think. Don't he, quote me on this. I haven't read the article yet, but as soon as we get out of here, I, I will. Think. I think Musk would rather expose the BS than sure. even have Twitter. I think he'd be just sure. ha- as happy not being able to buy Twitter and just being like, see, I don't think they, see I, what we I did? mean, like, see what's I, I going on. Twitter's Someone like an Elon Musk him. could easily yes, just start his own. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, but I'm saying, just do you that. know how that shit always happens. There's like, so many. I downloaded the Getter Getter app, right? Like Getter's like, been around forever, though. Has I mean, now yeah. apparently it's it's like supposed to be the conservative, yeah. you know, those always, Twitter. Yeah, and, those, I, and I, then there's American flags and country fucking music everywhere. This is how you know something is getting popular. It was even worse when you got when you got cam girls shaking their ass on it. Getter's got that now, so it's not just conservative fucking no, I get Alex it. Jones speech. Um, I got but you. I'm just saying, like, what you. my whole point of bringing up the Getter thing, I don't get it because I don't get Twitter either. Like, I, it's never been appeasing to me. I don't no, I understand the whole. I hate Twitter. Okay. I don't understand I'm how gonna, to interact can, with people gonna, on it. But what Twitter needs is a comp- is some is no, some sort of competitor. I'm gonna tell you something. And then we could diverge, go somewhere Please. else. Every social media platform struggles because they start out with a beautiful concept. Social media has a beautiful concept. And then their evolution 
becomes toxic because it becomes and then corporate marketing gets in. It becomes how do we make more money? Yep. Facebook was about connecting people. We went to school together. Hey, what's up? Boom, boom. What and a then it literally good idea. started wars. Yes. Now, <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It, it literally became it's literally and now has I knew Facebook been was the an cause issue of genocide. I don't have Facebook or Instagram. I, I don't have Facebook. More. I got Instagram still. I knew there was an issue when I don't remember one fucking password, but if I'm logged into Facebook, I can get to everything. Right. You know what's crazy, because though? That means Facebook is basically saying, You can log into I Facebook. Am your life. You know what the number I'm one social portal. media app is in what? the world still? What? Facebook. Oh, yeah, because they've had over, they have yes, over a billion. They have billion dollars. It's crazy, though. And I'm so, like, and the point and is, it's like by far. And Twitter, Twitter, in, in its. It its, went down a little, but not that it's going to matter. Twitter in its infancy was basically our ability to keep on real time with celebrities and those type of people, what they were doing. JP's a celebrity, about to walk into a supermarket. It's like, how cool is that? I know what JP's doing at that moment. Yeah, see, I don't and know. They it, all start with a good idea. idea. Yeah. For me, and that's, JP, that get, was literally what I hated about yeah, but that, Facebook that was and the Instagram. idea. Yeah, like when it. we started, when we started the the Oogie Instagram way back when, right? Instagram or Twitter? And you Different. started it. Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Yes, you gotta be specific, guys. Um, you started it, and you followed a bunch of, and I fucking I used to hate going on the Oogie Instagram because it was just like three eleven posts and Billabong posts and Kelly Slater posts. And well, the Kelly Slater posts were cool. That was, you know, but, yeah, but you know what I mean. It was like it was like big. Big name people and big corporations, and for me, it's like I don't give a fuck about what yeah, what these guys strategy, are doing right now or what they're his trying strategy to market. Was to get more no, no, I, followers. I, to I the get page, it now, which you know, was but at the time, it was like it was always annoying to me, and that's why I didn't like Twitter either. Because when I first signed up for Twitter, I didn't know really anyone on Twitter. It was all it was all these big people and politicians and people shoving news articles and ads and shit like that down your throat and it's just got so much okay. it's like what the fuck is this how let do you me, even connect me, with someone on it this is, it's still weird let me, let, me, I hate let it. me explain to you I hate Twitter all of social media is any every single social media is the equivalent of a beach and you walk into that beach trying to be noticed it's a big beach millions of tons of people I mean I guess Pay that's attention. what it develops and then, yeah, sure. that's what it is and then I mean you know what no no hold on let me let me just defend this for a second Instagram was never like that I mean uh, um, 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 Facebook what was never like that and that's the one thing that I always appreciated about Instagram because Instagram I mean ugh, fucking Facebook yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, which, Facebook is what I've always appreciated about Facebook because when Facebook opened up to the general public not just for college kids because that's how it started yeah. you had to have like a college uh, yeah. email um, it was still during the dominance time of MySpace. MySpace because and it, MySpace became annoying because it turned into a look at me type beach. thing. You go to people's you go to people's pages or whatever listen, and it's, it's flashy, a song, it's listen. a song, yeah, yeah. it's I'm, it's a it's a I'm scrolling a, thing and hold on. And Facebook was strictly text and communicating with people and connecting with people and commenting and hey haven't seen you in five years how you been man you know what i mean Jesse. still, still is. It was pure and it still is sure it it came into the marketing no. thing where nice. now it's ad driven talking about yes it was it was, oh, it was not is the reason why said, yes it is no i even said yeah, this i even might. said this when i opened it up and i went why the fuck did i open up facebook this was ridiculous because you know but i realized it's why am I following these things? Why is New York Times even popping up on my because shit? Hold on. I'm not looking for an answer here. I'm just I'm just saying. Right? That was a so, rhetorical question. No, I, right. You know, like why are these things popping up? I'm it's trying, it's I'm because it's because of what I used to engage in there. It was yeah. toxic. I got wrapped up in that social media toxicity. But if you take all of that away and you use it for the purest thing, like connecting with my aunt in Tennessee that I haven't talked to, and oh, look how cute your dogs are. Jesse. You know what I mean? Like Facebook is still great for that. I, I I'm with you, but the mm. social media yeah. people yeah. have they, taken they it over. All... Companies have taken it over, and the the greed and ego driven mentality has taken over social media and made it become look at me and unpure. Yeah, but they... Okay. And now you have influencers All who... Of these, what, is, what is there to argue on this one? Yeah, I I'm not even one. arguing. It's just... <laughs> I'm not arguing like... Because that was pretty spot on. I, I, me. I, I, ultimately, the issue with all of these companies is that they start out with a concept. They're all pools that want to be beaches. That's it. 
That, that, that's what they want. They want They're to be pools that want to be beaches. They, I like that. They, yeah, that's they, good. they, they pretend to be. Okay, we're gonna do this for that. Blah blah. But the moment you get enough people on, how do we make more money? Right, right. Hot dogs stand here. Right. Let's put a bar. It's there. like mom and dad right. left. Turn up now. Let's sell some know? towels. Right. Who yeah. needs a beach chair? Yeah, work. umbrellas. It's it's like this. And, yeah. But I mean, and, again, and, and, is it really? Jesse, hold on one second, because and I can't believe I'm gonna fucking do this right now. But is it really the fault of the Facebook? employees and and uh, uh and coders that me as a company or a band am forcing merch upon you look at me look I'm, at me i'm gonna tell you you know what i'm saying we've always, like, had, we've always had this argument about drug dealers and drug users your, your stance has always been drug users make a decision and yeah, that's what this is. Hun- no, no, hundred percent. I get you. It's the world's biggest drug. I'm just saying, like, it's kind of hypocritical for me to say yeah. this because yeah. I've also done exactly. The, hey, uh, buy my new merch. Yes. Hey, come to my show. And, hey, listen to my new. And music. you make a decision that you don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't that's, care. That's what needs to be done. I don't give a fuck. Well, it's also fan interaction, so it's like you <laughs> love Facebook for that, though. But no, that's what I'm saying. Okay, it's like got you. the connection of the pure thing. That's also why I loved when Facebook came There's out no with pure. the groups because then it, that was a way to no to pure. really like filter. Yeah. Your your followers and your supporters, like Raza, and you can one on one with people. I feel like Raza, you know, Agul, like which join uh Oogie, Oogie Wawa Warriors on I'm, Facebook if anyone's like still Raza, on it. But what I'm Batman, saying is, there is no pure. It all must go. Not allowed to drink coffee before shows anywhere, bro. I know. You are like a fucking, fucking eighth grade you guys fucking schoolgirl, bro. You're like fucking, oh my god, and then I was at it, and then I was here, and then I was there, and then I was fucking fuck Facebook. I'm sorry, and then I was like, I'm just no, passionate about these things.